So you notched another finish, and it seems like all but one of your finish, uh, all of your fights have been finishes right now. How does that feel coming into the UFC like that? You know, it, uh, it's always a good thing to finish a fight because, you know, it's like I say, it's a definitive thing. You know, in the house, I got finished twice, and that was a big thing in my own head. You know, it's a, you never want to be finished, you know, and even in a fight, I'm looking to finish at all times. I don't, I don't ever want to go to a decision, you know, because it's like they say, judge can take it away from you even at that point. So having the finish is, a, is a putting a definitive stamp on it, and that's, that's what I wanted constantly going for the finish off your back talk about being active off your back um what, what was your mind state down there when he was on top you know my mind state well he's on top is obviously to you know find a reversal or get on top one of the two I don't ever want to just stay on my back the reason I'm on my back is because I've messed up that's the way it is you know I don't want to be on my back but if I'm on my back I'm looking for something to make it to where it's my fight not them controlling it at all times I don't ever want to be out of control of the fight that's one thing Greg Jackson just told me before I went in there he goes no matter where the fight is have fun and control what's happening and that's why I felt like I did do you feel that he wasn't I mean you, well, you were you were offensive off your back I mean a lot of fighters will play it safe I mean did, did you feel he was giving you openings or were you just controlling the pace from that's that? I've I've done that off my back my whole career like if because I started off you know having to fight wrestlers from Oklahoma when I've never wrestled at that point and uh, so I had to be active off my back find ways to get up ways to sweep ways to do things off my back to win the fight and uh, you know it's kind of me going back to my roots you know uh, from the old days when I first started fighting so, you know, I've always been an active fighter off my back, on top, in the clinch, anywhere. Talk about the, the sequence that ended the fight. The sequence that ended the fight, you know, I was on top and I was trying to listen to my coaches about what they were wanting. And uh, at the time, I, I believe that I was supposed to be wizarding harder than I was. <laughs> and it didn't work out. And I could hear his corner saying, come out the back. Well, whenever that happened, I listened to his corner. And for some reason, he came out and... Uh, I fell into a good position, and I thought, okay, here's my triangle. Well, triangle's, you know, something I'd like to go into. And uh, from there, his head started falling out. Once I locked it up, I was like, oh, no, his head's coming out. So I transitioned over to the arm. And, uh, you know, as my last-ditch effort to try to break his arm, I guess, you know, before he could get out. And uh, things worked out in my favor. How much did living and training with Gilbert play a factor in this fight for you? I tell you what, Gilbert's improved. Gilbert's improved head tenfold since then. You could tell that when he asked to fight me, he really wanted to fight me, and he did everything he could to come out and be a better fighter. Because I was, like training, I thought, you know, I've got this guy no matter what first round, whatever happens. And look at it. He took me in the third round. I mean, more power to him. He, uh, he said he was stepping up his cardio. He said he was stepping up his game, and he did. He brought a fight to me when people thought there was no fight to be had. So... It seemed like that was kind of the most important aspect of this fight was the cardio because it seemed like Gilbert kind of slowed down there towards the later round. He, he, he did kind of slow down, but if you notice, the man still transitioned to the, at the end, you know, so you got to give him, if you want to say heart, even at that point, if he didn't have the cardio, you know, he, he upped his game. He, he came and brought it a little harder, and like I say, I even expected. So, you know, i got to give him some props. So, you know, we've had our, had our own issues, but, you know, the, guy, the guy's, uh, you know, obviously trying to do it himself trying to tried to keep his job you know the so more power to him for coming out and bringing it so you train out of jackson's uh, you train with john jones what did you take away from the tough house i you know i took away from the tough house a lot of mental anguish honestly i uh that was the hardest thing most stressful thing i've ever done to my body and uh you know, I'm honestly glad it's over. You know, people are like, would you do it again? I'm like, never at 85. You know, 205 because, you know, I could stay around 210, 215, make weight. Sure, you could talk me into a comeback season or something. But you think I'm ever cutting weight like that again that many times back to back? You are sadly mistaken. It's like the worst Thanksgiving ever for you, right? <laughs> uh, I've had other Thanksgivings where I had fights coming up, but never when I was going into my third way in, in, you know, a matter of four weeks at that point. I made weight four times in five weeks in that house, you know, that that was, I've never been that miserable for that long. You know, we have a cut week. That's why we diet down, we diet down, we have a cut week. You don't have a cut two months, you know. <laughs> so that's just the way it is, you know, because I had to have my cut downs to try to get my weight lower anyway before we got to the house. We fight to get in the house, everything. It was it was two months of pure hell for me. You know, we had, we had those uh, everything. I left the house weighing 226, you know. So it's just that just tells you, you know, how, how crazy it was. You know, within the two weeks of my last fight with Uriah, I weighed 235. You know, it's just... I like to eat, and they kept me from it. <laughs> so, so I guess you're going to celebrate by going and eating. Uh, you know, I'm actually I got so much family here and everything right now. I just want to go hug my mama. To tell you the truth, and uh, you know, 
I got a few things I want to say to, you know, my family and everything, you know, and I appreciate them. We're not some rich people, anything like that, but I made, you know, I, I have a great crowd out there with me. If you didn't notice, I have a couple of different sections, and my family and friends have supported me tenfold from, you know, the very beginning of my career, and I, I love every one of them for it. And look, they made my debut, you know, no matter what. Before we even knew, I didn't even know I was on the main card till Tuesday, you know, so... They all were, you know, they, if I would have been on Facebook prelims, they would all have been here supporting me like that, you know. So I just want to go out there and hang out with my family. You fought with a bit of a heavy heart tonight. What, was, what were the emotions like coming into the actual fight? You know, I didn't have the down emotions of this. I actually, I felt my friend with me the, while I walked into the cage this time, and I felt his, uh, you know, his push, his drive that he would give me before every fight. I, I felt all that. I don't have a heavy heart right now. I feel like I did him proud, and uh, I'm really happy to do that. And, you know, I miss him and everything, and I'm starting to fucker. <laughs> Excuse me. Somebody edit that out. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I haven't had a real time to mourn for this, so I'm wondering how it's going to happen. And, of course, crying Bubba starts to cry. Here you go. So, but, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bubba, have you? Were you a fan of the Ultimate Fighter show before before trying out? And how would you say your season compares to the other seasons? You know, uh, I started training probably six months before I found out about the previews even of the first Ultimate Fighter season. I've been doing Tough Man contests, things like that. That really hurt. But I've been doing a Tough Man contest, things like that, and, uh, you know, trying to fight, do things myself. But it just, you know. I was just some punk, you know, that didn't understand what was going on. So when I watched it, I was just the outside spectator talking crap about everybody too, you know. But obviously, you know, I was back there warming up. Forrest Griffin's back there in the back, and I'm going, holy crap, you know. Like, the the guys that, that I've watched, you know, my whole career, I should say, because I didn't really understand anything. Like, the, the first Ultimate Fighter season, I was around a little bit and had been watching a little bit, but those guys were the show I watched every week, you know. That was the thing to do. Everybody sat around, watched it. All my friends that were, you know, doing MMA at the time, that was the biggest thing to do. And, uh, you know, that season to me is still the best season ever. First season, best season ever. You know, it was something new. It was something everybody wanted to watch, especially me, especially my friends. And, uh, you know, to be able to say I'm a part of something like that now, you know, I'd have never dreamed it, not in my wildest back then. And uh, to be a part, of, I'm, I'm very proud of myself. You know, I, even though it was a horrible experience for me, like, physically and mentally, in and overall, it, it's the best thing that could have ever happened to me. There's quite a bit of time from the taping of The Ultimate Fighter to tonight. You know, the show airs mm -hmm. for uh, the 12 weeks on, on FX, and now you finally get to be back in action. Do you, when, when did it become official to you that you were a UFC fighter? After I won tonight. I wasn't a UFC fighter until then. This was just a promised fight, and... Uh, I won, and I believe that I'll be sticking around now. And uh, if, if they come up and say I get to stick around and they don't get rid of me, I'll, uh, I'll consider myself one then. Uh, as of right now, I think I am. I think I'm going to get to stay. But, uh, you know, until then, no, I didn't think of it as that way. I thought of it as I've still got to earn my stripes. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you, Bubba. Thanks, y'all.